Discord is a great place to build your community, but it enables anonymous users to come in and potentially cause trouble. So to solve for this, you can build a Discord verification bot, and that's what I'll show you in this video in just four minutes. Check it out. Hi, my name is Chris Smith with Common Room, and you may have seen in the news recently where a US soldier shared classified documents on a Discord channel. This didn't work out great for him, but he was doing this anonymously, and so it was a little bit more tricky to catch him. And suffice it to say, anonymous users can sometimes wreak havoc in your community. So let me show you how you can use Common Room to connect to Discord, set up different user profiles and permissions, and then build a workflow that allows you to automatically grab people's emails before you allow them to engage with your community. Let's check it out. To get started, you can follow along by going to commonroom.io and clicking Get Started for Free. The first thing we want to do is connect our Discord account to Common Room. So to do this, go down to the settings and select sources, then click connect on the Discord icon. Now you can select connect Discord and grant privileges from both the Common Room side and the Discord side. And once Common Room receives authorization, it'll give you a confirmation dialog to start importing your data from your Discord account. Great, now we're pulling data in from Discord so we can move to the next step of setting up our verification bot. So to do this, select the blue button here and then click the Discord member verification. And this will create a workflow that allows us to set up this bot. And this workflow will post a message into a channel, which will have a button on it to allow a user to verify their identity. And we can start by granting privileges to the common room roomy bot, which will allow it to act like a user and give us a list of the channels we can interface with. And once this is granted, I can go back into my Discord channel and see that the roomy bot has joined. So the next thing we need to do is set up two different permission groups. One for default users when they come in who are still anonymous. And basically we need to reduce all of the permissions so they can only see some messages and channels, but not do anything else. So you can go to the server settings and modify the roles appropriately. Here I've modified the default everyone role to be our anonymous user and just granted minimal permissions. Next, I'll select the plus button and create the new role changing the name to verified member. And for this member, I'll grant all of the privileges I want for my everyday verified member in my community. So allowing them to do things like viewing channels and creating invites and nicknames and sending messages, etc, etc. And with that done, our roles are set up so that we can start limiting specific channels based on the role that that user has. And we want to drop new users into a channel named Verify here, which we'll add the Roomy bot to, which can then be controlled from the common room interface. And I'll go to this channel properties and make sure I add the Roomy bot to this channel so that it can post a message there and notify new users to be verified. Next, I'll set all of the other channels to be private channels that are only viewable by the verified member role. To do this, I select Edit Category, choose Permissions, select Private Category, and then make sure the verified member role is in the Access Roles. And now we're ready to go back to our workflow and select the channel Verify Here and give it a message asking the user to select the button which we will name Verify Me. And when the user selects that, we will add the role to their user called Verified Member. And once we confirm this creation dialog, we're ready to go. So let's take a look at the result. Here, I can see in the Verify Here channel, there's a button for Verify Me. If I select that, I can then personally authorize it to share my email address, username, and other details. And seeing that be successful, I can then go up to my profile and see the new role showing that I'm a verified member. So let's test this again and see what it looks like with a brand new user. So here I'm inviting a new user to join the channel. And you can see when they join the Discord channel, there's no channels on the left hand side and there's just the post from the Rumi bot asking them to verify. They can authorize and once that's confirmed, they get access to all of the private channels on the left hand side which they can then go join and contribute and experience the community to their heart's content. Great success.
Thanks for watching and feel free to join us in our Slack community at commonroom.io forward slash uncommon.